All right, so in our practicing, uh, we had a little bit of trouble understanding the entire meaning of the act. And this was rooted in the old and middle English words um, that we don't use today. So we're not as familiar with them. Uh, we used a paraphrasing um, exercise at first um, to, help, to help understand what these lines mean. And we also use context clues. Uh, so we look through each line um, and look at uh, surrounding words um, of an unfamiliar word to try to figure out you know, what it actually meant, what we were trying to act, um, what kind of image we were trying to portray. Um, and then finally, we also switched lines throughout um, our rehearsing. Uh, at first, I was a gentlewoman, and then now I'm Lady Macbeth. Um, and this just came with um, uh, the three of us. We had different fluidities with each character's lines, um, and we sorted it out to the way that's going to work best of, uh, to our advantage. So at first, um, the sides were really difficult to follow along when we were reading, but the more we practiced, it became super natural and almost easier than reading like a normal script, um, since you really have to listen to the other actors. The more we rehearsed, it definitely became more fluent and sounded more natural. For acting in general, we realized that it is really hard and you definitely have to practice in order to like know your lines and get into character. We also found that the circle of concentration was the most helpful exercise because it really helped us get into character in a sense. And it was also just a cool exercise to focus on like your body at first and then expand to the larger universe. And then we also find it, found it really helpful to think about who we were talking to in the scene because then it made it seem like more natural and we could really get into character. You see, her eyes are open. Aye, but their senses are shut. What is it she does now? Look how she rubs her hands. It is an accustomed action with her to seem thus washing her hands. Yet, yeah, here's a spot. Hark, she speaks. Out, damned spot, out, I say. Fie, my lord, fie, a soldier and a feared. Yet who would have thought the old man to have had such blood in him? Do you mark that? The thane of Fife had a wife. Where is she now? What will these hands ne'er be clean? Go to, go to. You have known what you should not. She has spoke what she should not, I am sure of that. Heaven knows what she has now. Here is this the smell of blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Oh, oh, oh. What a sigh is there, the heart is sorely charged. I would not have such a heart in my bosom for the dignity of the whole body. Come, come, give me your hand. What's done cannot be undone. To bed, to bed, to bed.